What's going on, everybody? Happy, happy, happy Monday. So, got a little PSA submission back in. This was an ultra modern, uh, $15 a card. These were cards that all came out of stuff like boxes that I already made my money on, like when I was opening a lot of wax up and stuff. So, um, I'll go over what I paid and what, what should be profit off of this. So, kind of crazy. Now, just so everybody knows, this is before I had the big Magnus, uh, the microscope. This is what I was using, this light right here. So, I can just tell you the microscope is so much better than using that thing. At least for my eyes with uh, being strained so much. Because I could tell the difference it, and already by looking and stuff. So, let's get going with this. Uh, probably like a 50% gem rate on this. Not bad. But like I said, that was all using the hand magnifier. So first up, this is about a $20 card right now. Joshua Kelly, auto, no huddle prism, um, auto. Got a nine. Roughly about $20 from what I came up with onto it. Some of this stuff's going to go straight to DC. Some of this stuff will be on sale probably either, or I'll probably get some my slabs. Next, this was another one I know huddle. Uh, Blue Prism, PSA 9, Russell Wilson. Real nice card. I really thought this was going to be a 10. And then I caught it. Right up here is a little bit of white. Now, I don't know if that was done, you know, with shipment or whatever it may be. But a little bit of white up there in that corner. Uh, like I said, this is about a $35 card from what I looked up at. So, still not bad. Still not bad. Cam Akers, SP No Huddle, um, Prism 9. This is $26 for the last sale. Can't go wrong. I mean, this is nothing with huge gains on it, but it all adds up once you move it, basically. This here, probably a $5 card, <laughs> if that. Henry Ruggs, Prism, PSA 9. Ugh, Henry Ruggs. I didn't even put a price on it. <laughs> DeAndre Swift, Prism Rookie, PSA 9, too. Honestly, I think it's. I think I had this. It was like ten bucks. And I sold one on DC, uh, same price. It was like nine dollars sixty one cents. This here was a nice one. Joe Burrow, emergent, no huddle, ten. Last sale one sixty five. Really nice. Happy with this right here. I probably should be separating these as I'm doing this. Oh, I know what I'm doing with these things. Okay. Next up. Swift Green Mosaic PSA 10. Selling for about 30 bucks. Still not bad. Another one hurt me. PSA 9 Pink Claypole. This is the NFL debut. Selling for around 10 bucks. Tua. The NFL debut. These were between 46 and 60. I just called it 50 flat off. Um, not bad though. Not bad. Nine to Herbert, um, introductions, $16, barely getting grading feedback on that one. Jordan Love, Green Mosaic, 10 last sale, $46 on that, still not bad for Love, and it being a debut. Love Pink Camo, 10 last sale, 60 bucks ish not bad. Base uh, mosaic, 10. Last sale, $22. These are all Jacob Eason's. <laughs> I was hoping he would have done something up in Indianapolis, so I was trying to get him graded. Nine, debut. I set these into DC before and I had some nines. They were going for anywhere from nine to 12 bucks. The Mosaic Mosaic, which I'll probably just hold on to in case he ever does try to start, try to throw it up, make some money down the road. The Red NFL Debut Mosaic, Red Mosaic, 10 as well. Happy with that. Oh, is that two of these? Oh, the other one's a debut. Another one, uh, Mosaic Mosaic, 10. And another nine. <laughs> I'll tell you. Mosaic, very hard. 
All right. Burrow, nine. Eighteen dollars on a card. Eighteen. Judy Prism Silver, twenty bucks. Not bad though. This one I liked. I was hoping for a ten. TJ Watt Prism. Dude already said Steelers sack resin this season, and I think he's five away from tying LT right now, if I recall right. So pretty good. Last sale on this, $70. They've been staying right around 70 here recently. They were around 50, 55 as nines. So not bad. Am I only eight? And I did not figure this one out. I went back over. Some of these marks were on the case. Now, I did see right in here there is a mark on to it when I pulled it under scope earlier because I was kind of curious. And I think with the hand magnifier, I missed it, but it's like the indention. So it just shows you how quick I got hit. Anthony Davis, Reactive Orange, 9 Probably another $5, $10 card. Giannis Reactive Orange, 10. Last sale, 32 bucks. Oh, I looked up the wrong one when I did that earlier. You know what? My totals have changed are gonna change. I believe the last one in this is like 40 bucks. I don't know why I put it in as a PSA 10 earlier. Ah, try and type as I do this now. Sick. Debut. We'll get the real price up because I, I have one marked to 10 bucks. I'm just like, wait a minute. Yeah, 38 bucks. So a little bit of difference. I just got a mark on the back. I don't know why I put 15 on. I must have looked up a nine. 38's the last one on to it. Uh, oh, wait, that's a silver. No, that's the right one. Thirty-eight sixty-seven, so not bad. Thirty-eight bucks still. Trey Young, PSA ten, reactive orange, last sale, thirty-six bucks. Give and go, mosaic, LeBron nine, roughly about ten bucks. These really shut down, but a uh, PSA ten, Pawson, Chrome, about at fifteen bucks now. Wow. Last up, Giannis Donruss, nine. Left and right centering. I thought it was going to be in play and be good, but it was not. So probably like a five dollar card, roughly. So my new total, because I messed that up, um, fifteen. And I said what thirty, so twenty three. We're just going to call it eight twenty three or eight twenty five. So basically, um, what did I shoot that twenty five bucks? So. 390. So everything here, low end on this would have been like 818. High end now would have been around like 870, 875 ish because I messed that one total up. Spent 435 on grading. You take that out of the eight and a quarter, it's 390 profit once it all sells. Again, not huge, huge profits, um, but at the same time frame, you know. It still made money on stuff that I already made money out of those boxes. And, you know, in a long run, I'll take 390 profit any day. I mean, not everything that you're going to do um, is going to be thousands and hundreds of, you know, $800 profit on one card, $500, 5000 all that stuff that you see out there going on. Uh, a lot of that stuff, you know, people have held for a long time. And... You know, I'm comfortable with holding some of this stuff because, like I said, once I make the grading fee back out of it, 390 of its profit, and I'll probably look and see about where I'm at on to it offhand. But stack for DC, stack for my slabs and myself, yeah, almost even right across the board. So not bad. Like I said, that was with the hand tool that I bought. Um, th That is what it is. I mean... You just see the difference now with using the scope compared to that, how quicker I'm picking stuff out. 
And with the hand magnifier, my eyes were always getting a little bit, I don't want to say lazy, but like really relaxed and strained type deal, you know. Um, it kind of like a, I know kind of those kind of go off against each other, but you get what I'm saying. So overall, like I said, not bad. I mean, if I can get eight and a quarter for them all, 390 profit, you know, I'll take it. Take it. You take the little gains, take the 390 profit, put it in something else. You know, and just you just keep moving on. Um, we're at the end of the what everybody's calling the junk slab error slash, you know, the high pop cards and everything. You just gotta move the stuff and go with it and you know, start trying to look at stuff for me, it's low populated or autographed uh cards. And I'm kind of staying away from all of this year's products just because they're making so many versions or parallels, whatever you want to call it, that I'm just not really, I guess, I guess happy with it to where, you know, one card now doesn't have like the, when it first started, like six different color parallels. Now we got those six colors plus add four more and then we got shimmers and speckles and freaking waves and all this stuff going on. So, eh, you know, population reports are going to be there. But, yeah, overall pretty happy, though, with the grade. It should be the last one I get back for the year. I do have one that's been in assembly now for about, maybe about a week. Um, it, if it pops this week and gets shipped out next week, we'll have one more in. But uh, that's it with this video, everybody. Hopefully you guys are doing a little bit better with your orders coming back in. Um, than I am. I mean, all the newer stuff that I sent in, like Express and Super Express, and the heck was the other one that was out there? Another one. Maybe that might have been Express and Super Express. Uh, mine have all done very well to where I've been happy. It's just more of this uh, stuff that I thought would be back, you know, within nine months to 10, and now it's taken 13 months plus to come back. It, it's going to bite me, but. Again, I don't have a lot of money invested into it. It was already stuff that was out of boxes where I made my money back on it. So as long as I get grading fees back and a profit, I am happy. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one. Catch you all next video.